here's your host, Crystal Lavender. Hi, I'm Crystal, and today's show is going to be, like she said, about bows. So this is the bow that we're going to be making. It is every little girl's dream. It's all fluffy and feathery. So one of the first things we're going to get right into it, we have to talk about our ribbon because there are several different kinds of ribbon, all different sizes, all different styles. Today we're going to be using some one and a half gross grain, the seven eighths ribbon. We have all these are three eighths, but this is the gross grain and this is going to be the organza. So the, whenever we have that, we're going to go ahead and cut some and I've laid, I don't know if you can see, I've laid a tape measure down. So this is going to make it much easier. It's not going to move on us. It's going to stay in place. And I line it up to where it's so much easier. Now this one we're going to have, of the 7 eighths, we're going to have 12 inches long. And we're going to get six pieces of those. But I line it up and then I will take, line it up at the 12 and just cut it. Now I have actually already cut everything I need, but I wanted to show you something. One thing you'll have to do, because these ends will fray a lot, and we do not want fraying on them. So it's very simple. You just take your lighter and just for two seconds go over it. Now you don't want to do it too long, and that is because if you do it for too long, it will burn the ribbon. So I've already done the ceiling. I've already done everything else. We have actually got the ribbons already ready. Now for my one and a half inch, we actually need three pieces, which I've got here. Then like I said for the seven eighths, we need six pieces. I've got those here. Then I need three of my blue and three of the green organza. Then I need three of the light, the little polka dot ones. So we're going to go ahead and get to making our layers. First layer we want to do is going to be our big bow layer. This is going to be our base. So the, what we want to do is line up all your ribbon. This is a very good trick. A lot of people don't do it, but if you put your ends together, make it even, then crease your centerpiece. That will make it lining up very easy. So then we have a slight crease in the center and that's going to give us our base for our center. We're going to lay that down. Now I've already had my hot glue gun ready to go. And we're just going to start by making the little layer, put some glue on the bottom. And then we are centering it up. Now you want this one just slightly off centered, just turned a little. And then we're going to do the same thing the opposite direction for the other one. Make sure you have it all centered. And then once that's done, you're going to just have it looks like this. And once it's like this, we're going to start putting, we're going to pull one side in. Put glue on the center and roll it in. You're going to continue doing this until all of your pieces are centered up. It's very simple to do. And you just keep doing it. And you're going to do this with each set of ribbons. Now on the blue and green organza, you're actually going to alternate the colors. You just keep going until this is all done. Once this is all done, you move on to the next row. And then you'll have, this, this actually takes quite a few minutes to get everything done. So in just a second, we're going to go ahead and go to our commercial. I do it in meetings. I do it in exams. I do it in the bathroom. Do you often forget things? Not anymore. Use Salmon Synapsis. With one tablet a day, this fish oil will improve your memory by 500%. Salmon Synapsis is so powerful, it can cure Alzheimer's. Imagine what it could do for you. All right, thank you for coming back. As you see, I have finished making all of our little layers. 
So we're going to go ahead and start stacking our layers together and put our bow in order. So first we want our biggest layer. We're going to lay it down. Make sure the part that sealed the pieces is that's up because otherwise your bow is going to end up falling apart later. Make sure it's laid out. Then you're going to take your next one and same thing. Make sure the, seal, the part that's not together is up. And I usually put a little bit extra glue just to make sure that it's going to stay down. So you put the bow down in the middle. You lay it down. Hold it tight. And it's going to stay. So our next one, we're going to take the blue and green organza, which we have alternated. And make sure you have it layered sideways. And again, we just put the glue down. And we're going to put, make it, make it centered up. Hold it for a second. Make sure the glue is dried. So far, this is what we've, we've got going. Now we have one last piece. And we're going to hold off on this one because we actually are going to put the cute little feathers on it. One thing we have to do with the feathers, otherwise they will just keep falling apart. And all this is is a piece of boa that was cut. If you take the one end where you've cut it, put some super glue or hot glue. I always use hot glue. Some people do super glue. I don't like the feel of it on my fingers. Match the ends together and then hold the hot glue. It is hot, but my fingers are very adjusted to it. Once that is done, this one we're going to have quite a bit of glue on it. If we run out of glue sticks, that's why we have extras handy because it does use quite a few. And then we're going to just stick that in the bottom. Hold it for a second. Make sure it's good and stuck on there. Now we want to take our last little layer and we're going to just glue right in the center of it. and we want it exactly centered. So, so far we have this going on. Now what we need to do is we're going to put the barrette on the back. Now one thing that I like to do with my little barrette is I'll cut an extra piece of ribbon and I will actually, after gluing the barrette down, I will glue an extra piece of ribbon on it so it kind of holds it on better. So we want to make sure this is going to be the way it is. So we want to make sure it's completely level and that's going to go away from us. We put the hot glue on the barrette and then we're just going to hold it down. Hold it down for just a second. Then you're going to take the little piece of ribbon, glue more on it and then put the ribbon, because that does help it stabilize better and keeps the ribbon on. And then once that is done, we're going to slide the little loop back in. This one had two for some reason. I do not know why. And once that's back in, your barrette part is ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our last piece. We're going to add our center piece. Now I have some fun little pieces, all different kinds of colors. I think for this we're going to actually use a green. I don't trust the stickiness, so I'm going to add more glue. And then it's just going to go right in the center. And there are other things, as you can see on the bows behind me, you can also add little diamonds around or anything like that. But that is going to be our bow. Now, if you'll see, it's kind of a little wobbly in places. One way to fix that is we're just going to add more glue. So, this is how to make a flower loop bow. Little girls love them. I know my little girl does. So, we're going to have lots of fun when we get home. She's excited to get this bow. So, I hope you all have fun with this. If you need a better tutorial, visit my website at jandjbows.com. And for that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Hope you all have a good night.